Many years ago, I lived in New York City, and one of my favorite things to do was to go to the West Village. There was this little bar, you had to go underground, and they served the best buffalo chicken wings. I was hooked from the first bite. So, through the years, I've been researching ways in which I can recreate that recipe. This is the ultimate recipe. Along with that, I'm gonna show you a recipe for wings with an Asian flavor, so stay tuned. Hello, Cravers, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're having a chill night just watching movies, so I'm gonna show you two recipes with chicken wings. One of my favorite recipes, as I mentioned before, buffalo wings, very, very easy. Our ingredients for the buffalo wing, which I'm gonna start with first, are obviously the chicken wings, and I am gonna put them in a bowl, and I am going to add my flour, salt and pepper, and I want you to salt them and pepper them quite generously. We're going to toss them around, but I want to cover them, but I don't, I don't want them to be overly floured. So we're going to cover them all the way through. I'm going to shake off the excess. I'm gonna put them in a plate. I'm going to set them aside because I have the oil for frying them heating up. Okay, so with the rest of my wings, I am going to show you my Asian flavored chicken wings. We're going to take our chicken wings and we're going to put them on a baking tray. I'm going to drizzle them with some oil. And again, I am going to generously salt and pepper them. And these are going to go on a 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit oven for about half an hour. And after half an hour, we're going to check them and what we're going to do is we're going to turn them. So, it doesn't matter if they're next to each other and they're quite tight because as they cook, they're going to be shrinking so they'll make some space. All right, so while we wait for our chicken wings to cook, let's make the sauces. The first sauce we're going to make is the buffalo wing sauce. We're going to take our butter and put it in a pan and we're going to add Tabasco sauce. I make it with Tabasco sauce. You can use another sauce. I think Tabasco sauce is the original. And some red wine vinegar. We're going to put this on a very low heat and let it melt. That's all you have to do. For our Asian sauce, in a bowl, we're going to be mixing dark soy sauce, mirin vinegar, sesame oil, and some grated ginger. We're just going to mix that together, and I am going to bring my chicken wings out of the oven. I'm going to bathe them with this sauce, and I'm gonna put them back in the oven for another 10, 15 minutes until the sauce is glossy and sticky. In five minutes, I'm going to check my wings and then I'm going to turn them over so that they get sticky and absorb that sauce all over. Our buffalo sauce is ready to go. I'm going to get my chicken wings and we're going to mix it together. Let your chicken wings sit in the sauce for a couple of minutes and then enjoy them. You can enjoy them with some celery sticks, some blue cheese dressing, but I like them just the way they are. It is now time to check our Asian wings. They're shiny and glazed. We're going to leave it for another, I would say five to seven minutes. Are you guys ready for the tasting? I am so looking forward to this. I'm gonna start with the Asian one because I don't want the spice to get in the way of me tasting it properly. It's gorgeous. It's really, uh, it's like lacquered. It's dark and it's sticky. So let's try that. Ah. Hot, hot, hot. First, the saltiness of the soy sauce. Then you get the hit of ginger. A little bit of sweetness because of the mirin. And behind that, you get the flavor of the sesame oil. It's delicious. I could eat a bucket full of them. Now, look. It has that traditional orangey color 
of buffalo wings. Let's see. As soon as you get it near your mouth, the heat of the Tabasco sauce goes up your nose and then the vinegar just sort of floods your mouth and then and then the heat starts to develop it still has that butteriness it on it and absolutely triumph as far as i'm concerned try it at home they're easy 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 and your family will be really happy have it when you have friends over have it with a glass of beer uh during the summer they're just fantastic to make if you like this recipe and would like to see more recipes like this, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Little Cravings Catering. See you next time.